Welcome one and all to this virtual walk around of the stunning BMW M240i convertible finished in mineral white metallic. 67 plate, full service history, lots of black styling and a really naughty res delete. 335 brake, 3 litre engine which is also turbocharged which offers blistering performance in a car you may never have thought of. But let me show you other reasons why this is certainly one to consider. As BMW tell you here, you've got the LED headlights with the LED daytime running lights, which are around as the halo on the headlight design. You've also got the ferret grey insert just down here with the honeycomb grille. And you've also got the M specific sports bumpers, which gives you sharp angles and a real statement mouth and almost face of the car, if you will. Gloss black kidney grills, which are highly popular. You've got the honeycomb grille underneath. And coming round, you've got your second LED headlight, and you've also got your mesh down there. Now, moving on, you've got your really nice 18 inch 436M gloss black alloy wheels with the Estrel Blue M branded caliper. And you can see the bodywork is free from any dings, dents, indentations, or shock horrors for anyone that comes down. No distortion, no previous paintwork, and most certainly no crash damage. But what it has got is an M badge on the front wing down here and it's got flared side skirts all the way across as part of the M styling package. On here you've got your gloss black mirror caps and you've also got your high gloss shadow line all around the bottom of the windows which stretches all under the soft top and all the way around to give it a real nice bespoke finish. Body coloured door handles and again no signs of previous paintwork all the way down all the way down the car right to its gorgeous sumptuous booty or rear end now on this you can see you've got parking distance control you've got the dual exhaust and you've got the titanium gray rear diffuser really doing its thing bmw branded led headlights top tether tail light and a really nice dark titanium pearl m240i badging now the boot release is under here and if I open that up for you, you'll be able to see just what's inside. Now, you can see that we have the bag here. I'll just move that foam out of the way. Now you can see in there, we do have the bag. That is obviously your wind restraint and that just allows you to put that up when the soft top is down to stop any blowback from the air. The boot itself isn't one that could be considered large or roomy or spacious, but it is big enough for a couple of bags when you take this round the B roads and get a hotel or a B&B in the great place of Wales. It's a push down boot and you can see it's a really, really clean car. Has been very well looked after by its previous owner, who is a female enthusiast. Yes, guys, we're not the only ones now who can be held accountable or be known as enthusiasts. The girls are really showing us how it's done. So, big up the ladies of the car game. Moving down this side, you can also see no sign of previous paintwork. Really nice, clean bodywork, straight flush lines and sumptuous finish all the way through. So that really is the overview of the exterior, aside from one thing which I'm gonna show you now. And many people, when they buy a convertible, don't check. So you can see now that there are no marks, no mold, no mildew, no rips, no tears in the soft top and no repairs. Many of them these days aren't cleaned properly, they don't have the right detailing kit or they don't have the right detergents. But our guys here, you know, we're award winning for a reason and that is for our attention to detail. You can hear, glass roof in there and all around a really good looking car. So, should we show you the inside? I think so. So moving on to the inside, as you are welcomed into the BMW, it's got everything you would expect from a brand of its class. M240i branded clocks, Napa leather on the steering wheel, and this is all about black on black. Satin black centre console, hexagonal trim, and you've also on there, just underneath the media system, you can see you've got the hexagonal trim with a pearl blue chrome finish. But on the door cards, it is black leather, black stitching with chrome styling, and the seating 
is the famous Dakota leather with black stitching also. Very durable, very comfortable. You've got electric lumbar support which allows these bolsters to be brought closer or further away from you. You've got the optional leg extender here which there is just a little lever so depending on where you like to sit and you've got the manual seat adjustment and manual height adjustment. Moving into the rear you can also see that you've got two cup holders, big sports comfy bolster seating, isofix and no rips, tears, marks or stains, make that of what you will on the rear seat. Got your Dakota leather with black stitching armrest, media drive control which is encased in the hexagonal blue trim, dual zone air conditioning, heated seats, drive select, full black panel display and pro nav. You've also got paddle shift, cruise control, lighting features and pretty much everything you would want. This model doesn't come with Harman Kardon, but it does come with electrically adjustable mirrors, electric windows, and this little gizmo here, if you click that when it's on, will bring down every window in the car. And you've also got the really nice M240i branded door inlay just here. So we'll get into the car, but what we're gonna do now is pause the video because there is a ghost code on this car. So the 240i is now on. I do apologise, but I cannot show you the ghost code for security reasons. You can see it's covered just over 54,500 miles, and you've got the really nice digital full black panel display. You can change the instrument cluster menu just here with this button on here that says BC. Change that, you can get your miles per gallon, you can get your average miles per gallon on a long journey, average speed, current speed, the date, the oil temperature or you can leave it blank now for me the nicest thing on this is this down here the m240i signature trim but it just gives it a real nice aesthetic sports appearance now looking at this car from a hole i mean that with a straight steering wheel as a dashboard and a cockpit really isn't too bad at all so what else can we show you? On here, you've got the Pro Nav, which let's show you a trick. Yeah, it's touchscreen. So if you click on media and radio, you can see you've got DAB, FM and AM, alongside online music and other collections. But let's face it, if you've got any of that, you're only ever gonna listen to DAB. You've also got CD, DVD, Bluetooth, which is your media streaming. You've got USB, and you can change your different sound options just there and add your mobile phone. So if we go back, we'll click on communication, of which is of course the mobile phone. So if you click on manage mobile devices and connect new device, you'll be away and talking to your friends in no time. We've also got navigation. Now being a pro nav, not only is it touch screen on a 2017 model, but you've also got the larger screen, which is high contrast, high resolution, and you're able to go as far out as a thousand mile, which I don't know what you'd want to do. Oh, right the way to the moon and back. Oh, you can zoom right into 250 yards and that will tell you exactly where you are, what road you're on and where you need to go next. And as you can see, we're at 12 yards, as close as it will go. Really simple to use, really high resolution, no glare. It's a fantastic bit of kit. Connected drive, that is BMW, but you would need to speak to them in order to activate this or check if it's still current as a subscription usually ends three years from the manufacturer's date. As you can see, we'll go into my vehicle and that means you can get all different things such as vehicle settings, which are the lights, the doors, the keys, the speed warning, the driving mode, but we do have that coming up very shortly. But you can see you can change dynamic driving on just the chassis, just the drivetrain, or both. You've got the auxiliary ventilation, vehicle tracking if you wanted to do that. So if you do click on there and you click on vehicle tracking that will bring up a sub menu and you'll be able to click into your app and go through it that way. So we'll go down now off that one. We'll go into iDrive settings and you can see mobile devices, language, touchpad which is this here. You can use that to write on the dashboard and you've also got your different displays date and time and you've also got your unit sound notifications pop-up software update getting started and data privacy 
Now if you do go on displays and you go on the control display, you can change the difference of how that is and your instrument cluster on there. You can see exactly what you get on there and what you want to display. So coming out of that, we can go into driver profiles, which you can create your own, which will allow the car to be adjusted to just the way you left it. We've also got technology in action, which I haven't skipped out of vehicle status. I'll touch on that in just a minute. We've got efficient dynamics. If you're really going to buy this force miles per gallon, which I wouldn't have thought so, but you can get your sports displays, which if you're a petrol head like me, they are for smiles per gallon. So that means you can gauge your power and your Newton meters of torque. Driving information, owner's handbook, and most importantly, vehicle status. So if we go on there, you've got tire pressure monitors. You've also got your engine oil level, check control, service requirements, and a teleservice call. You can see the check control, the vehicle is free from any faults or any issues at all of which you would expect. Service requirements, we can see that the engine oil is due in 2,200 mile. So we will get that done and dusted and booked into our workshop to have that completed before you come down. Service history, you can see that it has a full service history from BMW 17. You've got 18, 19 and 21. And we've also gonna do another service here as part of our sold check, which will just ensure that you've got total reassurance and no maintenance required for the foreseeable future. You can see all the other bits on there aren't required for a very long time. And that really is all of the menu in my vehicle. If you click on notification, you can see that the engine oil service is displayed and it's just giving you a quick warning to say that you'll need to change it as of 2002 miles time. But we're going to get that done for you, so don't worry too much. Moving down, this is the aluminium hexagonal trim with a pearl chrome blue finish. And you've, of course, got your air vents, which don't need any introduction. You've also got your door locking, hazard lights, got your old school radio there and CD. And on here, you have, of course, got heated seats, heated front and rear windscreen, auto aircon or dual zone. You've also got the button here to differentiate where the wind is blown in or the air. You've also got the severity and you've got the opposite for the driver's side. And you've got your auto or manual recirculation. You've also got air conditioning max here and you've got aircon there and you've also got your second heated seat down here you've got storage you've got a 12 volt charger two cup holders and here you've got your dct gearbox which is of course the centerpiece of the car itself so here we have the sport mode you can say eco pro comfort sport or sport plus now sport plus you'll see that does turn off the traction control and that does mean that you are going to have lots of potential slides from the rear end very easily but the gearbox itself click the button in push it down and that will go into drive you can see on there you've got d and if you move the gearbox just like this to the left you'll see that changes to S, which is S1. Now that means that that will give you a real upright throttle response again, higher rev ratio, and just give the car quite a bit more noticeable acceleration. While it's in sport mode, you can of course use the manual gears if you wish, down to change up or up to change down. But for now, we're gonna pop it back in D. Now to park the car, it's really simple. Just click P and that is in park and you can take your foot off the brake and you can see the instrument cluster displays P as well. Got your iDrive, and should we show you? I certainly think so. So to take the roof off, you've got this button here. So if you hold it down, or hold it up, if you will, you can see that the roof is electronically deployed and it all takes itself off effortlessly. Really simple, your car has to be stationary or very, very slow moving when doing so but it's as easy as that. You can see now you'll get a note on the dash saying convertible roof complete. And overall, it's a really good looking car with the roof down. Now to put it back up, same button, hold it forwards. The windows will deploy and the roof will raise itself back up all automatically and electronically. It will latch itself back on 
so there's no need for any faffing from you just concentrate on what you're doing of course we would always advise here at emerald that this is done on the side of the road or before you set off you can see convertible roof movement complete so there you go that really is the 240i in a nutshell we think you'll really enjoy this car we think you should really like this car and for us it's certainly one of those cars that is classed as a sleeper if you're still not convinced remember every car here is treated to the emerald 128 point check prior to retailing and that means that it's given a full look over both cosmetically and mechanically before it's bought round for me to do this video if you have a part exchange or you require finance do get in touch and our sales team will be more than happy to assist if you have any questions about the video the numpty behind the camera or just anything about the car itself do again get in touch with us and we'll be more than happy to help thank you very much for watching and we'll see you at hq very soon